Pastor Joe here again. It is Tuesday and it's time for our video e-blast. I'm glad that you're here to join us today. Uh, a couple things I want to talk about. One is our Sunday service again, just to give you a quick update for a Labor Day service. Uh, it was exceptional. I mean, I was really blessed with uh, the number of people that were attending, uh, the spirit that was there, the, the at atmosphere of worship together, the fellowship, the corporate fellowship. You just can't, you can't beat it. As I said, you know, in my sermon Sunday, well, let me put it this way. You should go back and listen to the message that I preach. Not because I preached it, because I really honestly believe that it was uh, gutted out and wrenched out in the Holy Spirit over the week as it was being prepared for our church. So I want to encourage you to go back and listen to Sunday's sermon. It will give you some real insights as to where our mind and our heart is, at least where we believe God is leading us as a church. This coming Sunday is uh, Regathering. It's called the Regathering. I know, in fact, this is the same Sunday that a lot of churches who've been closed for a great deal of time are now coming back together for the first time. Others still are not. But again, as I have often said, it's my, my position, our church's position, to judge what other churches do. We are uh, an autonomous, functioning body of Christ uh, that answers to the Lord and seeks the leadership as the Lord would give our church and our fellowship. So we're meeting, but we're really encouraging those who perhaps have hesitated or perhaps who've just not come back to church. And it's not due to a uh, really a physical health issue. It's just because uh, you've just not gotten back in and you hadn't been coming. Uh, it might be fear, it might be just a bad habits developed or whatever the, the case might be in your life or in your heart. It is time to come home, come home, earnestly, tenderly, Jesus is calling. Uh, come home and share in the fellowship. Sunday sermon talks a little bit more about that, the regathering and the focus of Hebrews chapter 10. Can't encourage you enough to, again, just to go back and listen to it. I think it will uh, really be helpful. Even if you've already come back to the fellowship, I think it will encourage you in your walk with the Lord. Now, leading up to that, we've been doing a lot of preparation and we've been doing a lot of praying. We've been encouraging every one of you who are members of Believers Fellowship or even your other church where you might go and you just listen to these, these reports, but especially those of you who are part of this fellowship, to take this opportunity to get a hold of the people that you've been missing, you know should probably be here. Those people, you know, they go out to eat, they go to Denny's, they go to Walmart, they go to HEB, they, they go to the grocery store, they're at Kroger's, you know, but they haven't come back to church. Let me assure you that this is a much safer environment at Believer's Fellowship than any of those I just mentioned, all right? And it's a lot more sanitary and a lot less activity that you would find in any of those particular locations. So get back to church, call them, pray for them, encourage them, invite them. Maybe you just have friends who just don't go to church at all, but you have noticed that during this time, there's a little despair. And this is a time, folks, in our nation where there's a lot of distress, a lot of stress, a lot of uh, despair, a lot of people wondering what in the world's going on in America invite them, encourage them to come sit with you in the service, be a part of your family and join in and see what God does in our lives together. I don't need to educate you on where we are with COVID. Most of you are following the formulas that are presented, or at least the data, excuse me, that is presented every other day to us. So you know that the curve is flattening. You know that the death rate is radically low. You understand the CDC guide, uh, the CDC data that was re released recently about the 99% survival rate for those who do uh, come down with COVID if you do get it. So uh, let's let's make a concerted effort to be here, number one, two, to bring someone with you, to reach out to people you know are hurting, and to be the difference maker and to be the light in their life. We've made a lot of things in promotion and, and promotion to uh, from mail outs to uh, care callers, calling people, reminding them about the Sunday, to get involved, be praying. We also have two events coming up this week. One is tomorrow night at the Spring Campus. We're having a prayer meeting. The other one is another prayer meeting at the Magnolia Campus on Thursday night. Both of those will take place at 7. Wednesday night, Spring. Thursday night, Magnolia. And at 7 o'clock, we're going to have a prayer meeting. It's a solemn assembly we've called to be praying. Uh, praying for what? Praying for our nation. God knows that we desperately need to be a people of prayer. Praying for our own church praying for the community that we're in, praying for the other churches in our community, praying for, for the educators and schools that are going back in, praying for individual needs and individual homes. There'll be a time of worship. Then we'll have some more prayer. Then we'll have maybe some more worship. And there'll be a time of, of uh, a time for a prayer of agreement where we're all uh, agreeing together as someone is praying out loud over specific needs. We'll have that time that we share in. And then a time just for you to be personally quiet before the Lord yourself. So come be a part of that service. Uh, Wednesday night, tomorrow night at the Spring Campus, 
and Thursday at the Magnolia campus, 7 p.m. Uh, anyone's welcome. Don't be a member of the church even. You come, pray with us, and let's, let's trust the Lord together. God moves in response to his people praying and praying according to what we know is the revealed will of God. And that's what we're going to be praying for. So come join with us. God knows we need a revival in our nation. Come participate in the prayer meetings and then join us on Sunday as we gather together again and we talk about God's will, his purposes, and his call upon our lives being the, the living body of the Lord Jesus Christ, the earthly body of Jesus Christ working and ministering right here, right now in the present day that we're living in. God is up to some great things. And the Bible says, now unto him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all all that we can think or ask, I guess these next words in that verse, through the church. In other words, God has got a ministry. He wants to carry it up through the church. And it ends, that verse ends like, to him be glory forever. Amen. Amen and amen. So join us. Join us in prayer. Join us in attendance. For those who are still compromised in the, with your immune system, please join us online and do something special this Sunday. Call others you know they're in the same kind of boat that you're in and invite them to be a part of our live stream service as well. You know your pastor loves you. You know your church loves you. Look forward to seeing you soon. Come pray with us on, on Wednesday and Thursday night. God bless you.